hi everyone good afternoon it's a nice sunny saturday uh, morning afternoon and i am going to create some tutorials today so lot of a uh, lot of my uh, fellow colleagues asked to write something about mongodb so aws has a <coughs> document db server which is uh, dynamo db but mongodb is also very popular so mongodb is a uh, document based database it's it's a no sql database where you can use your key value pairs so it is quite popular and aws don't have any managed service for mongodb so now i'm going to show you how you can use aws to set up your own mongodb server over there so let's start it so let me type uh, ec2 so i'm go to ec2 area where i will just create a new instance and I'm then we'll use that as the mongodb server Okay, launch a new instance. Now I can use Amazon Linux one. You can use Ubuntu as well. Both are compatible. And um, in the marketplace, there are some already pre-built images for MongoDB, where you have MongoDB and Ubuntu set up over there. But I'm going to uh, show you from scratch. So I'm going to choose Amazon Linux one. Everything I keep as a default. Then I move next. Everything is default. Same VPS. Okay. Then I'm going to um, go to next. Add storage. Add tags. Security groups. Okay. Uh, I just want to have okay. This is my security group. I just created an old one, so let's use this. Launch. I am going to create a new key pair. Mm, this is November sixteen. Launch instance. Okay, so the instance is launching. Meanwhile, the instance is getting ready. I just uh, set the permissions. I copy the IP and then now trying to connect to that instance. Yes. perfect so uh, I am now connected to that my instance then I'm going to update the yum packages It might take some time, uh, around one to two minutes. So let's wait and while it's done, it's almost done. Good. 
come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, it's done. Let me clear my window. So that's good. Then if I run a uh, sudo yum install mongodb org, it will probably not find because the yum repository doesn't know what this mongodb org is. So what what we have to do? It's uh, it's simple. I will provide in the description. So I need to create a file where I will uh, give us the location that this nobody will repository is there. Okay, so now I'm going to write those paths. This basically says we have to fetch those repositories for installing. Okay, um, here. okay, now I run sudo yum install mongodb org. Yes, it is now correctly fetching those data. Yes, I am going to install and that's it that's it I'm done so now uh, I'm going to uh, check whether I have successfully installed sudo service mongo d d for daemon start yes my mongo d is starting then I set it as as default service when server reboots so sudo ch okay, config Mongo D. Oh. So I'll just copy from my command so. Okay, chk config mongo on this will make it start when your server reboots so it's a kind of like startup what services you need to start automatically okay that's it then um, now I'm going to connect to that MongoDB so if you just press Mongo that's it you have now connected to that MongoDB okay then I use DB then this is the DB just DB that's over right there now um, I am connected from local now if i wanted to connect to uh, to from outside of this server how can i do that let's say this is my uh, mongodb server running over there and i wanted to uh, access that from outside this instance let's say my ac2 servers are over there web servers are some somewhere else how can i do that so what we do we modify this uh, config files then you have an option in the bind ip okay here it says if you put o .o 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 .o, then uh, you get access you get um, allow access from other uh, instances as well So I have now restarted and I, I can still cannot connect to that instance because I need to open a port. What is that port? The port is uh, 27017. So um, if you click on this uh, security group 
and then um, now either you can uh, it's the port is two seven zero one seven so this is I can get anywhere and then we can so this is MongoDB port So in this process, you can now um, connect to your MongoDB server from any of the EC2 instances, and um, then you can write those tables, collections, and read data over there. So I hope it gives you an idea of how you can set up uh, a MongoDB inside your EC2 instance, and then you can use other EC2 instances as your web server and then you, you run your whole application inside AWS. So thank you for watching my video and have a nice day. Bye.